Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. We are in a very different setting than usual because I'm spending the week at my sister's apartment, which I explain why in next week vlog, because I am vlogging this week, but I haven't been on here for a week or two, I don't remember. I was really excited today to do a little updated makeup routine. As you've seen in my last vlog, I did purchase a few new stuff and I thought I would review them for you and kind of do a little makeup look, a very kind of everyday elevated makeup look that I love doing. What else do I have to say? So yeah, let's do this. Let's get into it. It is a beautiful day in Paris. It just feels so nice to wake up to sunshine. Fun fact, in February, they said we had only 35 hours of sun. So this right now is giving me so much life. <laughs> it sets such a good mood to wake up and you, wake, you, you open the windows and it's sunny. I don't know why, but to me, spring and summer has a scent, has a feeling, and I'm getting that feeling, and it has lifted my mood so much. So I am very excited to do this little video with you guys today. We are starting with the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray by Charlotte Tilbury because it actually is also a primer. So that's pretty cool. What I really love about this is that it's extremely refreshing. I even use it at night. Um, if I'm going to go out for dinner and I want to do a little touch up, I'm going to first spritz this on because it just feels very refreshing. I'm going to put a little bit of highlighter. I like to put highlighter before my foundation because I just think it gives a more natural feeling and glow. I usually use the Super Loaded by Westman Atelier in color Poudpêche, but I forgot it at my apartment. So I'm going to use Lisa's Highlighting Fluid by Chanel. Put this so what i like is to really put this in the places where i want to accentuate the glow and then whatever is left i'll also put a little bit here this is stunning Oof. so what i like about the chanel one compared to the westman atelier is that it's really fluid the westman atelier is a little bit more thick so this one you can really put it on like almost like a cream just beautiful so a little bit of glow i purchased this a few weeks ago it's the under eye brightener by rare beauty i just thought especially in winter where i don't know i feel we look a little bit more tired than in summertime um i just wanted something brightening under my concealer right and so the other day I was at Sephora and I saw this and I was like, oh, I need to try this. When I was sick, this really came in handy because I would wake up a little bit with my eyes very inflamed and red and this kind of toned it out. So I really enjoyed it. It has a funny kind of spoolie, I would say. So as you can see, I'm really doing this makeup in front of the window. So it's a real daylight light so what's interesting with this is that it really doesn't have a thick consistency like a concealer it really feels like just a little fluid that you're gonna put under and see so that it brings just a little bit of light and it kind of color corrects your under eyes so see the difference really like this and I do like to put it under the foundation so that it limits any type of, I would say, in French, it's called démarcation. Like, I don't like when the under eye is too bright now. I like when things are very blended in. So that's why I like to put the foundation on top. So this is what it's looking like. See how it gives just a whoosh, brighten up. What I really love, and as I said, is that it's so fluid and so watery in a way that it, you're not going to feel like you're packing on concealers on top of concealers once you put your concealer <sighs> you guys this this i've been thinking about it every day i put it on and i'm like what do i think of this what do i think of this we're now going to review the summer fridays skin tint which is honestly a hero product on instagram everyone's like this is the best thing i've ever put on my skin da -da -da. so i was like i need to try this I got it in shade two, which is a very good shade right now because I'm very pale, but it still brings a little bit of warmth to my skin. So that's something I like. I don't like pinkish 
whitish tones. I always like to go more to neutral and peach tones. Just feel it gives a little bit more of a cute glow. The first time I tried it on, I hated it. I was like, this has no coverage. I don't understand the purpose of it. Then, but I was like, I bought it. I need to keep on wearing it, right? I've now used this every day for two weeks and I think it's grown on me. It finally grew on me because I now understand its purpose because everything is like, I feel, it's not that something is a bad product or a good product. It's like, does it serve the purposes that you need it for, you know? This is the lightest coverage foundation I have, what's well, a skin tint? The lightest coverage skin tint I've ever owned. I used to use as a skin tint, the tinted face oil by Kosas that was extremely thin and extremely easy to put on, but it had coverage. This on the other hand, the coverage is very, very, very light. I thought about how would you, what do you guys would want to know? So if you have pretty good skin, um, not too many imperfections, and you like something that you don't feel on your skin, this is for you. Because one of the things that I have to say, first of all, when you put it on, it feels amazing. It just feels like you're putting on a moisturizer. So that's very nice in the morning, very refreshing, super easy to put on. You don't need any brushes, anything, just your fingers. If you do have imperfections that you want to cover up, this is not for you. You're gonna be extremely disappointed because the coverage, literally, I don't even know if you can say there is coverage, is so light, so unexisting, that it truly is for someone that doesn't like to wear foundation, that doesn't like the feeling of foundation, that really wants something that's super sheer, that gives a little bit of a like blank canvas, that's what I feel like foundation does, so that it can highlight your makeup, but this is not gonna correct your skin. What's going to correct your skin afterwards is your concealer. Now let's put it on. First time I tried it on, I did use my hourglass brush, Definitely you don't need it. I like to apply this product with my fingers. I'm gonna be very close to the camera so you can see how it applies. The feeling of this is so refreshing. See here where I have a little bit of pigmentation? It will not um, hide it. The redness around my nose, it'll slightly make it look better. Here is the final product. Two things about this, do not powder it straight away doesn't need powder, it will dry, it will set, and it will kind of become more matte. That's something I've noticed. So now when I put it on, I just wait a little bit before putting on concealer or whatever, because it's going to set. Would I repurchase this product? I don't know, guys. Like, I've been loving it because I love how easy it is to apply. I love how comfortable it feels on the skin. But I'm like, would I want just a slightly bit more of coverage? Maybe, you know? It is a perfect product for summer though. Cause I feel like on summer, I don't know why, like I hate having too much coverage. Uh, I'm a little bit more tan. So it just feels easier to have something with a very light coverage. Whereas on winter time, I do like a little bit more of coverage. So mid April, I'm going to Chicago to visit one of my best friends that's living there for a year. Guys, I cannot wait to go to Sephora and literally buy all the products I don't have access here in France because buying makeup online is really complicated, so I cannot wait to try so many things. Now I'm using the Brightening Concealer by Kosas. I've had this for years and years, always repurchase it. I really love the consistency of it. Um, I really love the coverage. Coverage is excellent. You can, it's very buildable. If you like to use a concealer like a foundation where you just want to color correct certain spots this is for you because it's very covering but very natural sinks beautiful into the skin using my new hourglass concealer brush let me tell you this is the best thing i've ever owned uh makes a whole difference to really press the product into the skin it is so luxurious into the hand, I have to say. I feel like a pro makeup artist when I use it and I look at myself in the mirror, I'm like, ooh, this is so fancy. The bristles are so soft and you really can press, see, the product into the skin and it makes a whole difference to me. So I really love 
this. I have to say I have a really huge love relationship with Kosas for so many reasons. I don't know, it's one of the first kind of clean brands that I used and loved. And then I also have a huge girl crush on the founder. Uh, her name is Sheena. Sheena Daly, I think. I think she's so fabulous. I think she's done incredible with her brand. I think she's developed so many incredible, innovative and interesting products into the beauty industry. And I, I think a year ago, she was invited on a podcast. I need to find it again and I'll link it down below. And she kind of told her story and I loved how vulnerable she was and I felt very much represented in the way she spoke about being a entrepreneur as a woman and all of that. I feel like sometimes the kind of example of entrepreneur in the startup entrepreneur world is very much men-led and the way they speak or the way they talk about their experiences and the way they want to do things in life I do not recognize myself in that. I just really love the podcast and I recommend you guys listening to it because I think it'll just give you so much inspiration. She was very inspiring and very vulnerable in her whole entrepreneur journey that it was actually interesting. I don't know how to, if it makes sense. So we're now gonna powder a little bit with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Powder. I really do love this. I used to really not understand the point of powder until I used this and I was like, oh, this is what it does. It kind of blurs out any crease, especially under your eyes. See, I have this like crease. It kind of blurs it out really like this. See? It takes the shine out and it blurs this out. So just put it on my lids and in my under eye and a little bit here but I do like to keep the shine around the rest of the face. We're now gonna do brows. I have here the Goof Proof Brow Pencil by Benetint. I don't like putting anything sticky on my brows. I like to keep them wild and whatever. Um, so I always have this in my bags. Like this, I can use the spoolie. I do a little touch up, but I really don't need anything too sticky. I think it doesn't age well. You can always see like white little stuff stuck to your eyebrows. I don't really enjoy that. Um, I have here shade number two, so I like to fill in just extremely quickly my eyebrows. But during the day, we don't need anything too crazy. <laughs> so while I do this, we need to talk about something. I don't know if you guys watched my last vlog. If you didn't, please go and watch it because it was so much fun. At the end of the vlog, we went to a restaurant with Lisa and we arrive there and they tell us your table is not ready yet. And we're like, oh, okay. So they sit us at this table right near the entrance while we wait, right? So we're sitting there and we're, you know, just talking. And then all of a sudden this group comes in and I turn my, because my back was against the entrance and I turn my back. And I look at this girl, I look back to Lisa and I say, in Portuguese so that people couldn't understand, and I say, our favorite DJ has just entered the restaurant. She looks at me, she knew who I was talking about. She's like, Peggy Goo? Yes, Peggy Goo just entered the restaurant. And then what happens, guys? Peggy Goo sits at the table at the chair next to me. I started getting so hot, like sweating profusely. <laughs> I was so starstruck to see her there. And Lisa and I were talking to each other. And at some point I was like, you don't need to talk to me. Like, I'm not even listening to you. I can't focus. I can hear her breath. I can, I can hear her talking. I, I, I'm like, I can't focus on you anymore. So contour. Contour and bronzing with the milk baked. Uh, so I just, I'm so happy I saw her in real life. I really love her. If you guys don't know who she is, she's a DJ, Korean DJ, and her music is really, really good. But honestly, if you don't follow her on Instagram, her content is amazing, super fun. She has a fun lifestyle 
and she has amazing style like she's the ultimate cool girl for me so if you've never seen her instagram i highly recommend to go follow her there and i highly recommend to listening to her music because she does some pretty just add a little bit more she does some pretty cool songs that gets you very excited very summer vibes i love it so we're doing a very quick bronzer I was completely starstruck. I don't even know. I didn't expect myself to be this starstruck. And then they moved us a table way in the back. And I told Lisa, thank God they did because I couldn't have not enjoyed the dinner as much as I did if she was next to me because I would have been extremely self-conscious of having this cool girl next to me. I, was, I, I couldn't even talk, so that's that. I'm now using the Contour Stick by Westman Atelier in Biscuit. And I'm just going to see it's a beautiful cold brown. So you can use this as a contour, but I do like to just put this into my lid to bring a little bit of definition. So it just gives very natural kind of definition to the eyes. Okay. We're now gonna try something that I actually purchased yesterday. I finished my blush. I used to use the Milk Makeup in Work, which was a blush stick, lip to cheek stick. Really enjoyed it, but I do like to switch things up from time to time. And one of the blushes that everyone talks about are the ones from Rare Beauty. And one of the colors they everyone really raves about is the color Hope. Sephora, they do sell this color Hope in a mini. So I bought the cutest thing ever the mini from rare beauty i mean how cute is this whenever there's mini in whatever brand i always purchase their mini that's why i bought this in a mini this in a mini so that you can kind of switch things up from time to time i've been told this was very pigmented so to be careful maybe i put too much Ooh, this is pigmented but it's beautiful so I love putting my blush upwards it really lifts the face we all need that oh this is gorgeous oh it's so gorgeous oh it's so gorgeous okay I did go a little bit overboard I'm gonna try to blend it out but it is gorgeous oh this is giving such a beautiful flush oh I love the color I love it. It's so pretty. A little bit on the bridge of the nose. This is gorgeous. Oh, it's beautiful. Love, love, love it. Love this color. Color Hope. We are now going to do something that a lot of you have asked me to do, which is to show you how I do my eyeliner. I've been using the Revolution eyeliner. It comes with two tips. It comes with the fine tips like so. A little larger one but I do like to use the finer one this is extremely affordable um, but most of all the most important thing is it lasts in time like when I go out when I do my whole day I come back my eyeliner is still looking the same as it was before it didn't fade off the color didn't fade off it's not grayish no it's still there I've been doing an eyeliner since I think I'm um, maybe 15 or something. I have been a huge Audrey Hepburn fan since I'm a kid and I've always found that her eyeliner really gave her some kind of personality. I don't know, it just made who she was. And I don't know, so being a fan of her, I was like, I need to nail how to do an eyeliner. So that's when I started really practicing my eyeliner skills. So it's been a while, but I still, every time I do it, I am frightened so right now i am literally very frightened to do this on camera with you guys so i apologize if it looks crappy <laughs> but i'm gonna try to do a good job eyeliner is really about practicing 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 and really knowing how to do it so that it corresponds to your eye shape because eyeliners from one person to another you'll do it very differently depending on their eye shape so this is my tip to do an eyeliner but still make it look super natural 
I first start with lining my lashes. You have to go, you guys, we're gonna get very up close and personal at this point. You have to go very close into your lashes. So to do the line, first of all, we're only going to put eyeliner up to here. See, we're not gonna go down there because that makes it very heavy. We're gonna do a half eyeliner. This really helps to elongate your eye, um, but doesn't make it heavy, doesn't make it small. What I do is I literally like use my eyeliner to take down the lashes and I go into the lashes and I start just, see? So we're more and more getting it in. So it's going to make, see how it's making my eyelashes darker in a way because I'm just accentuating the base of my eyelashes. Really going in the eyelash. I did the other side off camera. See how now my lashes just are a little bit more dense and darker at the root. So it's an eyeliner, but it's still looking super natural. It's still like elongating my eyes and bringing a little bit of intensity and making it pop, but without that feeling of having a big straight line on your eyelid. For the wing, as I said, perfect eyeliner for me is the one that's going to, uh, in French, we would say, épouser les formes de tes yeux. <laughs> so it's going to be adapted to the shape of your eye. You need to take as a reference your upper part of your eye. So you're gonna look here. You're gonna take this, go upward, and this is where your wing should go. See? It's in the trajectory of your upper part of your eye because what's very important, and this is a mistake that I see very often, is that they're gonna do their wing way too much inside, and this is just gonna make your eyes smaller. A wing eyeliner, the wing needs to be out so that it does this like cat eye effect. So this is where I would do. So you draw kind of that line and then you're going to, okay. This can go very wrong or it can be fabulous. So let's do this, bear with me. I'm going to do the eyeliner on camera. I never thought I would do this guys because I'm not a makeup artist. This is just me doing my everyday makeup. So be gentle. <laughs> now I'm just gonna fill it up. Can't talk anymore. Here is the finished product. I finish it off camera. So see, I really use this as an indicator of where my wing should go and how it should be. And I think it looks very natural and nice and it really elongates the eye. We're now gonna do mascara. My favorite of all time, and I've been using it for over five years, is the Limitless Lash by Ilia. I love this. The applicator has a dual-sided brush. Oh, let me show you. So see on one side is straight and the other one is curvy which is very practical to get all the lashes in. So this is my lashes with the mascara. Very natural curve, very natural, like pretty, very well separated, looks very natural, pretty, not clumpy, not anything. And the difference with this side. <laughs> we are going to finish with a new lip combo that I found and I am very excited to share with you guys. First, I did hydrate my lips when I started this makeup with this Nuxe Rêve de Miel. It's just a very hydrating honey lip balm. And what I like about this, you know, we have a lot of like these very shiny, very thick lip glosses like the Rode one, the Lano lips. What I like about this is that just a little bit hydrates your lips and most of all, dries kind of matte. Your hair doesn't glue to your lips when there's a little bit of wind. And it just really hydrates your lips. It makes your lips feel very comfortable, which 
I feel, for example, the Rode one, when I use it during the day, it doesn't hydrate my lips. It gives a very nice shiny feel, but it's not hydrating my lips. It doesn't make my lips feel comfortable. So this is why I really like a very simple, non-hyped lip balm. <laughs> We're gonna use two lip liners from NYX. The first one is called Natural. The vibe right now for lip combos are very much into the brown kind of shades, which I love. But I kind of wanted for a makeup like this to have a lip liner that would be a little bit more in the shade of my lips. Um, so that yes, I was contouring a little bit my lips, lip lining my lips, yes but in a natural way, so it makes them look fuller, but as if they were my own lips. Well, they are my lips, but you know what I mean? By adding a little bit of lip liner, they look fuller. And I think this shade matches perfectly kind of that bitten lip vibe. See how it's literally matching the color of my lips. It's my lips, but better. So NYX lip liners are not the most, I would say, long lasting, but they're affordable and their colors are pretty good. So I do have these two that I really enjoy wearing. Then I'm just gonna color a little bit my lips, like so. See how it's the color of my lips, but just a little bit more bitten and better, but it's not, that brownish vibe that doesn't feel natural sometimes this looks very natural so i kind of do a base with this natural lip liner as you can see and then just create a little bit of dimension with the nyx lip liner color new truffle that i really enjoy it's a very beautiful brown adding a little bit over here See how it's gonna just make my lips fuller and then adding a little bit here. And then you slightly go up. Oops. And slightly go up. It just brings that dimension. And then a little bit here. You kind of want to do this. There. It just gives a little bit of dimension to the lips by focusing here and here and a little bit on the sides. And that's it. And here we have the final look. We have one last topic, beauty topic to talk about, and it is nails. If you've watched my last vlog, you know that I purchased a new UV gel nail polish from a brand called Gel Care because I've now decided to do my nails at home because I actually have the UV lead lamp uh, for about 10 years, and I just felt like it was a great economy to do. You know, you need to be smart with your money. So I guess I was like, you know what? I'm spending too much money on nails and I can do it on my own at home. So anyway, and I discovered this brand uh, from Canada. And one of the great things about it is that they actually don't have most of the toxic um, ingredients that you might find in gel nail polish. They actually don't have them. So I was like, oh my God. And it's even a cleaner option. So it was just all win-win for me. Last time that I saw you guys in my vlog, I did my nails for the first time with it. Loved it. Love the way to apply it. Super easy. It just was such a good and quick and easy pro process for me. I'm going to show you guys what they look like after three weeks because they actually really hold well. Um, they didn't lift off. Like the, the quality of the product was very, very good. And I was very impressed. On this video, I'm wearing two layers of nude BB cream. So it's the reference of the nail polish. And this time I redid them and I am so happy of the result. Look at this. This is me guys. I am so proud of myself. Um, this is what they're looking like. 
So I went in for an almond shape. I think it always looks very chic and beautiful when you're doing nude nails. So this is it. So on this one, I actually did a different combo. I did one layer of coconut milk and one layer of nude BB cream. And I think I love it because it's a little bit more opaque, um, a little bit more on nude white side. And I don't know, I just think it's very, very chic. So that's for the update for the nails, because I know a lot of you guys asked me, is it worth it? Um, did it look good? Did it last long? Yes to all those questions. This is the end of this little video. I am so excited to be back. I'm so excited to be back with you guys. And uh, yeah, I'll be vlogging this week. So I'll catch you guys next week. And in the meantime, I wish you all a beautiful week. Um, I wish you all a beautiful day or beautiful night wherever you are. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.